Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components and welcome back to episode 4 of our 1978 Cessna A185F restoration project. It's been a few months since we did our last episode, but uh, in the meantime, a lot of things have been happening on this project. Number one, we received the engine back from overhaul from Poplar Grove Air Motive over in Illinois. Uh, we've been doing some structural work on the fuselage and now we have the wings in motion as well. Starting with the engine here, uh, first thing we did when we received the engine back is made up a engine assembly stand here. This allows us to uh, mount up the engine mount, put the engine on that, and then that gives us 360 degrees unobstructed access to the engine for installing all the different systems. On this particular engine, uh, we're using all brand new uh, baffles from our friends at Airforms up in Alaska, uh, the Tannis uh, engine preheat, the Surefly electronic ignition, uh, Aviol hose shop has supplied all of our brand new hoses, all with fire sleeve up here in the engine compartment. But uh, having this uh, engine assembly stand here sure has made uh, easy work of putting this engine together. Uh, once everything is uh, assembled on here, the whole unit, uh, the engine and the mount together will be moved over onto the fuselage. On the fuselage, uh, we've put in the new uh, seat rails, uh, the new bush wheel bill trim wheel. Uh, we have a new flap handle. Uh, instead of trying to take out the old flap handle and refurbish it, we just bought a different flap handle, refurbished that, and then we can just switch out the two units. While we had the flap handle all apart, we powder coated it with uh, wrinkle finish black, and then also installed a uh, billet aluminum uh, thumb knob. Also with the fuselage, uh, while we have the whole interior out, all the seat frames were stripped down, refurbished, and powder coated in a gloss black, and then those will all be reupholstered with a black leather. For the wing portion of this project, we're just starting to build the wings at this time. Starting with a stock Cessna 185 wing with the camber lift leading edge, uh, these particular wings in 1978 had the bladder fuel cells and we will be replacing the fuel cells with brand new uh, FFC fuel cells, putting the CIES uh, electronic fuel quantity transmitters and also uh, the new fuel outlets from Burroughs aircraft up in Alaska. Originally these wings would have had the dark green zinc chromate as part of the seaplane kit. Uh, we're using a dark green two-part epoxy primer to simulate the uh, zinc chromate color, but it's a, a better uh, product for corrosion prevention. Uh, while these wings are all apart, we're putting all brand new wiring in here, all LED lighting from Whalen, uh, Garmin uh, Autopilot uh, servos will be installed in here as well. Building upon the base Cessna 185 wing, we will then add the wing extensions and VG kits as well. We will not be adding any sort of leading edge uh, modification, uh, stole kit. We will not be adding any kind of Robertson uh, trailing edge drooping kit as well. Just going to remain with the stock wings uh, with wing extensions and VGs. That's it for today's episode. Stay tuned for future updates on the 1978 Cessna A185F project.